Nanocad Mechanica is your gateway to producing mechanical 2D drawings and 3D models. You benefit from a huge library of parametric parts containing symbols useful for adding plumbing and fasteners. It includes standards like ISO and many others, symbols for annotating drawings, calculators for making sure that your designs will work. The new offset dimension command lets you measure along curved entities like ellipses, polygons, and splines. The 3D spiral can now be used to create 3D sweeps. To do so, draw a 3D spiral along with the entity you want to sweep along it. Choose the 3D sweep command, and in the dialog box, first choose the profile, which in this case is the red circle, the path, which is the helix, wait for the preview, and then click OK. The spiral is drawn. When you create a section of a 3D model, NanoCAD Mechanica automatically adds cross-hatching of the solids that have been cut. But in traditional drafting, it's common to change the cross-hatching of areas that represent different parts so they can be more easily distinguished. You can now enter the Drawing View Auto Hatch command, and after a brief moment, Mechanica automatically changes the angle and spacing of hatches of parts that are different from each other. In case you miss seeing it, I'll enter the Undo command. See the hatching goes back to how it was originally with that consistent look. Enter in the redo command, you can see the hatching changing again. Going beyond just numbering or lettering lists in mText, Mechanica now allows you to apply bullets instead. NanoCAD Mechanica now has the ability to update detail views after the 3D model is changed. Let's see how that's done. First, create a series of 2D views from the 3D model. Then go into the Mechanical tab, choose Scale Fragment View, and then indicate where you want the detail. In this case, we're going to make the detail of this cone-shaped part. We place the leader, specify a scale factor, say of 2 to 1, place the detail, and place the label. Now let's make a change to the 3D model, such as creating a 3D fillet. I'm going to choose this top edge, click OK, and in the 2D views, it's updated. Now I enter the MC Regen command, the detail view is also updated. Mechanica now supports the display of threads through the new 3D thread command. Here I've created a couple of cylinders, an outer one, and then an inner one as a whole. To draw a thread, enter the 3D thread command, and then choose a face. While you're in the dialog box, you can make changes such as have a partial thread, change the direction of the thread between left and right, and change the pitch, the number of threads per inch. Threads can also be applied to the whole of the cylinder. Through the params command, I can change the color of the thread representation. Go to the 3D tab, open up common settings, and then here are the colors. I'll change it to a turquoise and gold. 